the latest in that political standoff over Speechgate may be over, but there's a controversy of a different kind. As a solar panel company championed by President Obama and given more than $500 million in loan guarantees from the federal government, is all of a sudden filing for bankruptcy. ABC's Brian Ross is here with more on that story. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, Elizabeth. Up until the very end, the Obama administration said it was money well spent, creating more than 3,000 jobs in a so-called green company that made solar panels. The company's bankruptcy Wednesday punctured that claim and led Republicans in Congress to question whether undue influence by Obama campaign supporters was involved in what appears to be a half-billion-dollar hit for U.S. taxpayers. It was with great fanfare from President Obama just last year. Hello, everybody. And the promise of thousands of jobs that the federal government guaranteed a $535 million loan to the Solyndra Company. The true engine of economic growth will always be companies like Solyndra, will always be America's businesses. Wednesday, the Fremont, California company shut its doors, telling some 1,200 employees it would file for bankruptcy. It's kind of somber. I mean, this shocked people there. <laughs> you know, you walk into your company and the doors are shut. Just picture that. Everyone is kind of, uh, I mean, speechless right now. Nobody really knows what to think, what to, uh, nobody saw it coming. Not entirely true. Republicans in Congress say they smelled a rat from the beginning. We have been raising questions about this from the get-go. And it is really bad news uh, that we got today that they, f they filed for bankruptcy. And again, leaving the taxpayer holding the bag, probably. The questions involve one of Solyndra's principal backers, George Kaiser, an Oklahoma billionaire who was one of President Obama's big fundraisers. He did not return calls seeking comment. But a report by the Government Accountability Office found officials were, quote, favoring some and disadvantaging others in giving out the government guaranteed loans to energy companies. Someone had to sell a bill of goods to somebody, right? Workers say they were told there wasn't even enough money left for a small severance check. I haven't actually gotten the final information. It looks like the severance package is pretty much zero. The government has denied there was any political influence involved in the loan to Solyndra, and the company says despite strong growth, it just couldn't compete with Chinese companies making the same products at much lower cost. ABC News and the Center for Public Integrity have asked for documents to back up the government's claim that politics were not involved. But so far, we've been refused to provide, and they refused to provide them to us. We've refused access to them. All right, Brian, thanks so much.